Hello and welcome back to Body by JRTV. Today's workout is your one piece of resistance, whether that be a dumbbell, a kettlebell, a plate, or a household item. But today we're going to be using a dumbbell, us two anyway, and it is an upper body workout, okay? All right, guys, so we've got 50 second rounds followed by a 10 second rest before we go into the next exercise, okay? There's 12 exercises and we're gonna do them twice round without any rest in between round one and round two, okay? So it's 24 minutes of non-stop. Yeah, all upper body today, okay? Well, obviously some legs might get moving, um, <laughs> but it is focused on your upper body. So please make sure you've done our warm up, which is on our channel, and then come back to us and we are gonna get straight in. Okay, so the first exercise is our snatch and press. So we tap the floor, overhead, and press, okay? We're gonna stay on that side halfway, we're gonna swap to the other arm. So we've got a 10 second countdown, this is the beeps, guys. Okay, 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest. We're going in five seconds, staying on this side, three, two, and one. Touch the floor up, and a press. So with the snatch, it's one movement, coming down to the shoulder, and then pressing above the head. Halfway, we're gonna change. Okay, so we've had a little bit of a play around with the lighting today, guys, so please make sure you give us your feedback. Halfway, change arms. Yeah, just make sure you've done your warm up before you do any movement like this, guys. Especially the rotator cuffs if anyone is using some weights, which isn't your shoulders. Um, oh. Nearly there. And stop there. On the floor now, guys, we've got Renegade Pro press up. Okay, if you can't do that, onto your knees, guys. Let's okay. go. Renegade Pro press up. Wider stance makes it a little bit easier for your core balance. Obviously, narrower is harder. And like Ray said, drop to your knees if you have to. And swap sides, guys. Straight in. Oh, there it looks, this one. Yeah. Keep going till you hear that beep. Okay, number three. It's gonna go on one knee. We've got the half kneeling shoulder press. Okay, so the weight's here, and we press up. Halfway, we'll swap sides again. Wow, my shoulder is already. They should be burning. Oh yeah. And triceps. Wow. Okay. Five more seconds on this side. Or oh, change arms, change legs as well. Okay. So obviously, we put these exercises in a certain order that's going to get you working. Yep. And you know what? I'll tell you the truth. I've bought two dumbbells by the side of me because I thought, oh, one. I can go heavier on some exercises. I don't think I need the heavier one. <laughs> and stop there. Okay, on our feet then. Upright rows now, guys. Weight here in front of us and pulling nice and high with the elbow. Ready? Let's go. Bit more shoulder work. Oh yeah, shoulders. So make sure you're nice and controlled. Obviously, a lot of our workouts were jumping around, body weight you know, hit exercises. I mean, this is effectively an upper body hit workout, but it's a little bit more isolated with the muscle groups, okay? So you get to work the individual muscles around the body, and you're just gonna burn that a little bit more. Change your arms. Size. Definitely. And we're gonna show you 12 ways to just use one piece of equipment and get a really effective upper body workout. And you'll notice we've got plenty more on our channel and you will never do the same workout twice. Five seconds, four, three, 
two, and one. So we go back to the other arm, we're gonna go into a front row. So the weight stays by our side, we come up to shoulder height, and then back down, okay? Let's go. Make sure you control it on the way down, guys. So if the upper body workout isn't your thing, remember, we've got lower body workouts, We've got Tabata, your high intensity interval training workouts. We've got plenty more, even some cooking shows, okay? I thought you said cookies. No, cookies. <laughs> We've got cookies on the line. Dreaming of cookies. We can make cookies. Change your arms. Swap arms. Fifteen seconds. So lots of shoulder work to begin with this one. Oh yeah. Control that way down. Three, two, and one. Okay, overhead extension now. I like to go on my knees. And the weight is gonna go here, watch your head, and we're gonna extend up at the elbows. So bend the elbows and push. Try not to overarch your lower back, guys. Some people with mobility issues in their shoulders, maybe they sit down for large portions of the day, they get a bit rounded in the shoulders, okay? So you're gonna find that you're arching your lower back for this one. So maybe you need to work on the mobility a little bit. Triceps should be burning. Halfway. Ooh. Keep it nice and controlled. 15 seconds. So working the long head of the tricep here. So some of the guys that are watching, you might want bigger arms, you know, from the side. This is the one that's gonna give you that size from the side. Ouch, get rid of that. Okay, Ooh. we've got weighted dips now, so we're gonna stay down, place your weight across your lap, and we're gonna lift that arm off the floor, okay? And we've just got a really small range of motion, but we're just gonna dip. If you do struggle with this one, take the weight off, okay? But obviously the weight will challenge um, the triceps more by putting the resistance on. Okay, it's a really small range of motion with this one, but you really will feel. Oh my God, it's horrible after them overhead extensions. Oh yeah, everything's got a correct order that we go in. And like Ray said about the long head um, for the guys that are looking to get bigger arms, girls, triceps is a really common goal that females come to us and say oh my bingo wings um also as you get older estrogen is quite high on the back of the arms and it's quite a stubborn area by working your upper body and isolating the triceps it's going to get great results stop there okay so gonna come up now we're going on to plank press ups oh yeah sorry wait to one side so drop to your knees if you have to high plank let's go down onto the elbows and back up so, your arms should be feeling quite tired by this point. And you'll be glad to put that dumbbell to one <laughs> side, I'm sure. Woo! Then we've gone from shoulders, we've gone onto arms, and then we'll see later on in the workout where we go to. <laughs> okay, halfway. So come up on the other side, I unless you've been alternating the arms already. Yeah, I've been alternating. Okay. Keep pushing. Saved by the bell. Okay, so we're on our feet. We're gonna do concentration curls. So we're down here for the biceps. Okay, nice straight back, slight bend in the knees, and you're just gonna curl and slowly lower. Really isolating the bicep now. Really controlled as well, don't rush it. So almost like three, two, two or three seconds up, pulls, and then back down. You'll see a lot of people swinging in the gym. We're controlling it. I think Change. Arnie made this one like famous, didn't they? Change your arms halfway. And a lot of girls as well, they say, oh, I don't want big arms. But doing these exercises for your biceps and triceps, you're not gonna get massive arms. So, We've been doing this for years with yeah. the size of ours. They're not massive, are they? No. 
Good. Stop. Okay, I'm gonna pop the dumbbell down and we do burpees over the dumbbell. Okay? Yeah, so if you're in a pair like me and Ray, you gotta work out the way you're gonna go. <laughs> and a lateral jump. Without kicking me yet. Nearly. She's always wanted to do that. <laughs> I better get quicker. <sighs> Everyone loves a burpee, don't they? Of course. Come on. Where's that beat? Keep going till you hear that beat. Okay, next one, get the weight up, we're gonna stand up now, weight's here, and we're gonna rotate and press, okay? Oh, wow. So it's gonna be really hard because your shoulders are fatigued. And the heart's pumping. Oh yeah. Especially after them burpees. Oh, that's really hard. Oh, I'm actually getting really fatigued. Wow! Train drive. Okay, push. So really twisting through the hips. If you need a little bit of leg drive, use a little bit of leg drive. Down on the floor again, we've got the plank row, okay? So, not similar to the renegade row, but we've just got the row, okay? So drop to your knees if you have to. Again, wider stance makes it a little bit easier for the core balance. Narrow is harder. Staying on one side, halfway, we change. Keep that core nice and tight, bum down. And swap sides, straight in. Really hard this one. Yeah. So we are 12 down, 12 to go. Back to the first one. The snatch and the press. Ready? Let's go. Round two. The magic happens in the words of Ray Bath. You know what's coming. So we work faster, we work harder, more repetitions in the time that we're working for each exercise. Hey guys, and this isn't just a workout you can do once. Remember, you can come back and do it with a slightly heavier weight. Change arms guys, halfway. Okay, so you can be progressive with all of your workouts. Or if you've got a pair of dumbbells, you can use two. We'll show you in another video. Uh, 10 seconds. And stop there, back down we go. Into our renegade row with a press up. So this is quite a challenging one. Three seconds, two, and one. So feet wide or narrow, row and press. We can hear it's us heavy breathing, right? Yes. Hopefully they're heavy breathing as well. Yeah. Change arms halfway. Big push, come on. Wow. Come on, Jordan. 
Okay. Stand down. Half kneeling shoulder press. Okay. That's on one knee. Shoulder presses. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Burn, baby, burn. I can't believe how fatigued your shoulders can feel just after a few of these exercises. Oh man. Oh yeah. You still want the heavier weight? No. Change your arms halfway. I won't need that heavier weight. <laughs> And I think as well, it's such a common misconception about guys lifting heavy weights in the gym and not being able to get results unless they lift heavy. Honestly, try this workout. Remember, if you lift heavy weight, you're going to be training at a very, a very low volume, okay? So you're not going to actually burn calories to achieve fat loss. Upright row, one side. Ready? Let's go, elbow high. So these higher volume workouts like this, you get a lot of work done in terms of repetition, sets, in a short period of time because we've got very minimal rest. So because you've got less rest time, more work, obviously you've got a higher volume, so you've got to burn more calories. Change your arms halfway. Which is key for anyone that has fat loss goals. Yeah. Obviously your diet needs to be on track, but you need to be working out at higher volumes. Yep. And like we said in our video the other day, these intense workouts allow our body's metabolism to increase, which means we can eat more food because it metabolizes it a lot faster. And stop, we're going back to our front raises, so back Ooh. to the other arm. Shoulders are burning. Oh yeah. Ready? Three, two, and one. Up. Control that way down. You can have a little swing, can't you? Yeah, or if your weight is too heavy, use both arms. So here and up. It just controls it a bit more if you are struggling um, with the one side, if it is too heavy. Because these movements, where we're using the front delt, it's a small part of the shoulder. So you'll find that, change arms halfway, you can press a lot heavier, but these movements that are front raise up, Upright rows, side raises, you uh, have to go a bit lighter. Well, they're, they're isolated, aren't yeah. they? Whereas a shoulder press would be compound. Yep. So you're using your triceps as a synergy muscle. They help and assist with the movement. Three seconds. We're giving you an anatomy lesson today as well. <laughs> People are like, what are they even talking about? Okay, on our knees, guys, we're doing our overhead extensions. So holding the weight above our head like this. Coming down and up. So be careful with this one, don't hit your head. Um, also you might like to wrap your thumbs around the dumbbell uh, handle, just like you were kind of catching a cricket ball, say for example, and um, that way you're not gonna drop it. Or if you're really sweating, it's not gonna just fall out of your hand. Halfway, stay with it, bending to elbow and uh, then push, okay? So it's only your forearms that really should be moving. We want to keep the rest of the arm, the upper arm, stable. Remember we've got our dips after this. Lovely, I can't wait for those. <laughs> and drop. So like Ray said, we're going into our dips. So we're in this kind of like crab position. Option, no weight. Weight obviously makes it harder. Dipping down, bending the elbows. Like Greg said before as well in round one, it is a really small range of movement, but it's really effective for the tricep. Well, you've got the time under tension, guys. So you've got 50 seconds of tension going through the triceps after all the shoulder presses, after the overhead extensions. You know, we're putting a lot of tension through them triceps and we're making them work really hard. Yeah and we're burning lots of calories. 20 seconds. Are they burning? I bet they are. <laughs> we'll answer that for you. Yeah. 10 more seconds. Come on, how many more reps can you get? Even if it's two or three, that's fine. Oh, it's burning. Oh, stop there. 
Just get rid of that weight. Weight to one side for now. We've got the plank press up, so low plank, high plank. Okay, you can swap halfway with the arms, or you can swap after each rep. Let's go. This is a bit cheeky after the triceps, isn't it? Yeah. Who designed this one? <laughs> Again, keep your bum down, core nice and tight. Halfway, so come up on the other side. Drop to your knees if you have to at any point. Okay. Biceps. Here we go then. Bicep bending over. And the hips. Concentration curls. Slow on the way down. So heart rate should be staying at like it gets high, but it's a nice stable level throughout the whole workout. Aerobically. Anaerobically. Anaerobically. Change your arms halfway. Depends. It depends on the fitness of the person. Depends on how and what energy system they're using. Ten seconds, come on. Ooh. How are your arms feeling? And stop there. So we're going into our burpees, so put the weight down, we're going to be jumping over it or stepping over it if you can't jump. Jordan's going to try and make sure she don't kick me in the head. Maybe. Even though she wants to. Maybe. I might accidentally. <laughs> Glad to hear that beep, guys. Oh, yes. Okay, we've got the rotating shoulder press now. Okay, so on our feet, dumbbell in place. You can use a little push press if you need to. We're going to shoulder press and rotate. Be really explosive. I think this one is probably the most deceiving one after them burpees. Wow. Come on, one more rep. I reckon two more. That's 25. Oh, halfway. Change. So you can use some of that leg drive if you need to. Ten seconds. Oh, it's really burning. It is. It's burning. <laughs> Too tired to even joke right now. Plank rows, guys. Last minute or last fifty seconds. Come on. Number twelve or twelve in round two. Drop to your knees if you have to. Let's go. Narrow that stance to challenge yourself and keep that core tight. Should be burning already. Nearly there. And swap sides. Straight in. Come on, nearly there. 20 seconds. Come on, so we hear that beat. Last part. Come on. 
you did. Yes, well done, wife. Well done. Good, guys. That was your upper body hit workout. Ooh. Okay, we hope you enjoyed it. A little bit more isolated with some of the movements there. Really working our shoulders, chest, biceps, triceps, and core. Okay. Yeah, and like we said, the heart rate is going to stay at a really, I, I want to say nice, but nice is probably not the, the right word. Um, stable rate the whole way through. You're going to get some elevation when doing exercises like the burpees, but we're going to be we've just isolated muscle groups and worked them all together. Um, so yeah. Yeah, and guys, please like our video. If it's been helped to you, um, and leave us a comment, we'll get back to you. And also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel, click the bell icon. It's completely free, and you just get regular updates when we go live with our next video, Definitely. okay? And once you've done a video, we always ask if you can and you're comfortable to, to tag us on social media because we love seeing your post workout selfies or progress and spreading the body by JR Word. So thank you so much, guys. We will see you again very soon. Yeah, see you soon, guys. Goodbye.